Bayern Munich against Schalke, possibly one of the most important games in the footballing calendar, especially for Jurgen Klinsmann, Bayern's coach, under pressure. Second placed in the table, 54 points, but Schalke sixth placed with 46, pushing for a European spot. How would this game come out? We join it in the 18th minute, corner for Bayern Munich. Sosa's going to take it. Luca Toni and Lell unable to steer it towards Manuel Neuer. Somehow, both of them missing out on the opportunity. This was a tough game, and even the hoardings in the stadium were not particularly friendly to the Schalke players. Sanchez going over the ropes. 20 minutes gone. Dimichelis losing the ball to Jefferson Farfan. Ottel chasing back and getting the block in, and he's furious with his fellow defenders and midfielders. The corner coming in on 21 minutes. Panda's corner, Altintop's head. And that, of course, is not Hamid Altintop. He's on the bench for Bayern. Halil Altintop making it 1-0 with his fourth goal of the season. Klinsman out of his seat. But the man responsible, the man who'd just been shouting at his colleagues, Ottel standing there, way off the pace. You see it much better in the slow-mo. Ottel just stops running, puts his foot up, but it's a goal. And Schalke with the advantage, 35 minutes gone, and a chance for Ribéry. Technically excellent. The Frenchman forcing the save from Neuer. Just a couple of minutes later, free kick from Sosa off the crossbar. And Neuer was not at all happy with Kevin Kurani. Kristajic acting captain with Bordon not playing. Gets between them. That was possibly a slight deflection from Kurani, but he ducked slightly. That's why Neuer was not happy. Another chance, loads of pressure from Bayern Munich, but always the chance for a breakaway. Sanchez and then Jones pushing Van Bommel away with a handoff that's more rugby style than football. Referee Herbert van reaching into his pocket for the yellow card, quite clear what was going on there. Just before half-time, the corner this time from Zé Roberto. And Di Michaelis, for some reason, unable to steer his header on to goal. So at half-time, Bayern Munich invoking a higher power for a little bit of help in the second half. A tough game, getting even tougher by the minute. First minute after the restart, Ribéry causing pandemonium in the six-yard box, as did the shot from Van Bommel, but Neuer holds on to it. Bayern Munich with their last chance of any kind of silverware this season. They're out of the Champions League, they're out of the German FA Cup. It's their duty to win every game. Panda with a right cracker. And luckily for... Hans-Jörg Butz, Dimakilis getting in front of Kevin Kirani. The trainer trio of Buskins, Mulder and Reck having a lot of success. This was the second best attack in the lead against the best defence. And Bayern threw everything they had at Schalke and Schalke threw everything they had in front of the Bayern attacks. Possible handball, missed by Herbert Fandler. Make up your own mind if that was deliberate or not. Sanchez somehow staggering his way past three Bayern players just after the hour mark. And hans but again with an important save. Hernes, Uli Hernes and Jürgen Klinsmann. Will they still be friends in the morning? We'll have to see. Ribéry. And a chance that Panda clears Lahm this time. All action this game, right into the 70th minute where 
Jermaine Jones, who'd already had one yellow card for a tackle on Van Bommel, got the collection. Two yellows and the red that goes with it. He'll miss the next game against Leverkusen. It was a no holds barred in the last quarter of an hour. And this time, Ribéry, who'd already had a yellow card as well. And that was his marching orders. Bayern Munich beginning to get desperate. Studs showing in that challenge. And just look at Uli Hannes as Ribéry goes into the changing rooms. All hope gone. The season looking as if it's all but over for Bayern if they couldn't get a goal back. 88 minutes gone. On any other Bayern day, that would have gone in off of Engelhardt. But it certainly wasn't being Bayern's lucky day. Zero Berto. And Orlando Engelhardt. 90 plus three. The other out in top. Hamitz testing Neuer. But by then it was too late. And Neuer doing an Oliver Kahn which won't earn him many friends in the Allianz Arena. But was that the last game for Jürgen Klinsmann? Schalke with a classic victory over Bayern.